AI, AI, everything is about AI now. President Biden weighing in on the potential threat from artificial intelligence. Do you think AI is dangerous? Thank you, guys. It remains to be seen. It could be. So he made that remark on Tuesday during a meeting with his Council of Advisors on Science and Technology, which includes executives from Google and Microsoft. The president said AI can help deal with some very difficult challenges like disease and climate change, but we also have to address the potential risks to our society, to our economy, and to our national security. This comes after Elon Musk and other top tech minds signed an open letter calling for a six-month pause on AI experiments. So joining us now is the futurist tech entrepreneur, Sinead Bovell. Um, she is the founder of a weekly advice for young entrepreneurs on Way, right? W Way. Correct, w -way. yes. Thank you. Good to see you this morning. So uh, and thank you for joining us. As a tech entrepreneur, what does this mean that President Biden is bringing this up now? What's going on here? I think this is a, an important statement for a few reasons. Clearly, there's a lot of excitement, but also a fair bit of fear right now about the state of artificial intelligence, the pace things are evolving at. Uh, so this statement calls attention to the important conversations we need to have at a national level and the conversations we can expect to have at a national level. But I think it's important to point out that President Biden mentioned both benefits mm -hmm. and risks of the technology. To me, that's a nod to tech companies, that the administration isn't here to just regulate innovation away. They know AI comes with a lot of benefit and they expect to capitalize on that. At the same time, this can't be the Wild West. These systems come with potential danger, potential harm, and those need to be addressed as well. Yeah, I mean, color me skeptical, though, that Washington is going to be able to do anything about this. They can barely get their hands around TikTok and the dramas there or the name image likeness <laughs> stuff when it comes to college sports. I mean, they're not exactly always ahead of the curve on this stuff. But it is interesting to me that he's, he's talking about the companies making sure that they're safe. But we're hearing from the companies in this amazing letter that came out last week basically saying they don't even know what the risks are. People like Elon Musk signing on to it. Right. So clearly there is a bit of a conflict of interest when the only people that can really assess the safety of these systems and where they are in their evolution are the companies themselves. Uh, so what could a solution look like? We need to establish more independent bodies and independent researchers that can assess these systems, uh, that can put in safeguards, and that do some form of testing before these systems get deployed into the market. Uh, I think that the call from researchers and, and some companies that, that AI presents a lot of danger, uh, some of that was a little bit more uh, Hollywood-esque, uh, but there are real dangers and, and limitations that we need to be mitigating against. Sinead, I want to put up this um, next video that we're going to show. Uh, AI could visit, it can create videos just by using text prompts. This is from an app called Runway. I mean, this video was created simply by typing in the prompt aerial drone footage of a mountain range. And then this one was created by typing late afternoon sun peeking through the window of New York City loft. I, this is fascinating. This is quite remarkable. There's another one, a mountain video generated from mountain video as well that they just put in a prompt. Yeah, this is, this is quite remarkable. So these are AI uh, video generators. So just using a short description, a few words, uh, AI will generate a video in an instant. Uh, right now, the videos are quite short with Runway. They're about four, four seconds, and the quality is pretty good. But we can expect the pipeline of this technology to evolve, where we can generate long-form, realistic videos from a simple description. Uh, this is going to have a lot of implications for the workforce, for, for filmmakers, uh, for creators. Uh, it's, it's an exciting time. It, it, so we were talking about, everyone's pretty aware of the risks. I mean, you watch a Hollywood movie and you're like, oh my God, this is what AI is going to look like. But I was telling you in the commercial, I was listening to a podcast, Hard Fork, the other day about the benefits of AI and how it can actually be used in everyday life. Like, there's a lot of potential here, not just all, you know, scare and fear mongering about what AI can do. Absolutely. So, so these generative AI systems are going to transform the workforce in terms of productivity. Uh, we're putting creative tools in the hands of essentially everyone. Uh, so we can imagine you know, the filmmaking process, the editing process to get a lot faster. Uh, we're going to see new entrants into the creative field uh, utilizing these tools, and they're incredibly easy to use. So a big misconception with AI is that you need all of this technical skill. Uh, yeah. This is just requires a few short words. And Emailing, have, grocery mm -hmm. lists, things like that. That, that it's going yeah. to change. Before we let you go, this, all this computer-generated stuff, AI stuff, should there be a watermark so we can know what's real and what's not? 
I think if we do want to protect our information ecosystems, that is something we should certainly consider, not in a way that it ruins the quality oh, of these right. outputs, but at this point in time, misinformation, disinformation just got a lot easier, faster, and more scaled with these systems. Yeah. Thank you, Sinead Bovell. Hey. It's so good to see you. Thank you for having Be me. Well. CNN This Morning continues right now.